Kum Lan Rabat Kamara, today's daf is daf Yud Zayin Amel Aleph. I just want to quickly um, <clears throat> touch on the Gemara we learned yesterday. We had a discussion which period was worse for the for the Eden. Was it under the Roman dominion or was it under the, the Persians? The Gemara says it depends. The Persians once upon a time were actually kind and benevolent to the Eden. And then, and then afterwards, when this group of Chaveyim came and joined them, they, they transformed them into a into an anti-Semitic nation and they oppressed the Eden. <clears throat> but otherwise, the Romans were terrible, as Gemara says that the Romans couldn't do the first base of Migdash because the Eden wouldn't be able to endure all the Tsaris and the Xeras that they put into place. So we generally assume, in fact, everyone assumes, that the, Ro- the Romans are Asa, are Edom. Yeah. So I just want to quote you on Eben Ezra, which is not known, but it's a fascinating Eben Ezra. On, on the chapter of Al Nara's Bavel and Tilim, which is Kuflam and Ches, we say before Benchi. And there we say, Zechayr Hashem Livne Edom. Remember the people of Edom, as Yemi Rishalayim. I mean, they said, Aru, Aru, let's undermine it, undermine it. Ada Yisraeli, let's get to the very foundations and rip it out. So we're talking about Edom. And the next part it says, Bas Bavel, Hashduda. So now suddenly we move to Bavel. Bubble destroyed the first base of English and, and, the, and the Romans destroyed the second one. Says the Ebenezer. I'll just quote you because it's fascinating. It's Pasik Zion, the Ebenezer, on Kapitel Kufla Meches. Zocher. He says, titus. We are not talking about Titus. Kasha Choshu Rabim, like everybody thinks. Why not? First of all, Kini Achari Kain Hiskebaz Bubble. He mentions the next Pasik Bubble. But the Oid, the most important thing. The Romans have nothing to do with Edom. <clears throat> Who are the Romans? They were Greeks. And then Rashi Chumash says that when Ace of their, um, they got the bracha, that's when Nats Connor Gabriel came along and put in the Italia Shel Yavon. Rashi calls Italy always Italia Shel Yavon, which would now, according to Ebenezer, makes sense. But they're descendants from Yavon. Who was one of the Italy, 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 Rome? But Rome are from Yavon, not from they're not Edom. Um, so why is Edom? Why are the, the um, Edom so bad? So Edom never destroyed the base of Egypt. It was the Romans, the Greeks, or, or the Babylonians. Where does Edom come in the picture? Says he, Kasher Hoya Edom Tachas Yad Yisro. When the Edomites were under the thumb of the Yidden. They were rejoicing when the Yidin, um, when the destruction of the base of Migdish. And he says over here, the Hacherpa, and that, you know, the Bezoyan, when they were degrading the Jewish people. The day that they were despising the Yidin, the day Yerushalayim was conquered, it was destroyed by the Babylonians. That hurt the Yidin more than the actual destruction of the base of Mikdash. So the Edomites, he says here, says Ezra, was at the same time as talking about the first base of Mikdash. The Babylonians destroyed it. The Edomites stood there and were jubilant and rejoicing. And that, even though they had no physical participation, that hurt more than the destruction of the base of Mikdash. So, amazing. Hi. Amazing, because we always assume the Romans are part of uh, who Edom is. Aesop. So who are they? Yeah. Anyway, very yeah. interesting. But more interesting is as well that people rejoicing in the Chashom, the downfall, are worse than the, than the culprits themselves, than the perpetrators themselves. Why would you say they're worse? You say they're equal. Why would they be worse? That's what Ebenezer says. Anyway, fascinating. Let's go back, back to Algamore here. The, the, Loud, the yeah. Italy, yeah. Of, uh, Boot. The heel points to. What's that? Throw. Yeah. Well, we had Rabbi Yehuda said that everything is uh, uh, the, the island is a throw, but there's another opinion that says there's two parallel lines, the very north of Israel, the southernmost point of Israel, and you go all the way out to Atlantic, it would cut part of Italy, probably. Yeah. You have to look at an atlas. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, so part of Italy. Yep. It's part of Israel, it according to one opinion. We want it. What am I? That's right. That, that's no, that's north. That's north. That come up, come but that up, wouldn't. It wouldn't be in that. It wouldn't be the part. That's the south. That's the part which is going to be the south. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Calabrian gangs. That's where all the mafias. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's get the in the Gemara. Two dots. So the Gemara, uh, 10 lines at the top of the page, or nine lines that you die in the middle when do we say this it says in the Mishnah that if one person said Nech, the very last line the Mishnah said it but if one person said Bepone Nech and two people said Bepone Nech it is kosher Rabbi Ami said what's the situation here it's talking about Shaget Yetzi Metachas Yad Eidek so what in other words the person who came to testify about the writing was the Shliach so he's treated like two. The, the, and there were two people on the chesimah, so you have two and two. Perfect. If one of the Edim who came along to verify the signature came along and said, you know, I was a shliach, and the person who testified before Nechtov is not a shliach, is merely an aid. You have an aid echad for before Nechtov, even though you have two Edim before Nechtov. And according to this opinion, it's not kosher. Puzzle is puzzle. And why is it puzzle? Because we will make a mistake. Uh, but why is it puzzle? Because he did not carry out the rule that we're supposed to be that uh, that you need one set of eight for Bohanech for Nechtam. Because they hold, Alma Kasavri hold that Shnayin Shavi, you get Niziyam, still Sikhish Shiyam for Nechtam for Nechtam. We still need to know whether the Shmon not. We need to know whether the Shmon not. doesn't help us that two people wrote it. And therefore, we're two people for the Bohanech Nechtam. Alma Rasi El Miyat. The following your logic, go back to the, the preceding part of the mission which we discussed yesterday. Reisha, the preceding part of the mission, two people say, We saw it written. The echad and the third person came along and said, I saw it being signed. Puzzle, puzzle. And Abi Yehuda Machshav, Yehuda Machshav, are you going to tell me that even if those two people were Shluchim, I feel to get Yehuda Machshav's name, that the person who said for Nechtam is a Shluchim, and the other one is a Shluchim, it's also because one, the person who said before Nechtam did not say before Nechtam, and the person who said before Nechtam did not say before Nechtam, even though they were, signed, they were sent there by the husband, therefore it's no good. Is that what you're saying? Pasir Abban, even though they were both Shluchim? I'm like, yes, you're 100% right, it's exactly what I'm saying. That even though there were, there were two Shluchim here, doesn't matter. They have to follow the prescription, and we need the one shliach should say both. Otherwise, you're going to mistake it with other starters and say, well, the, the person who says, nechtum doesn't mention for nechtum, so it's good enough for all starters, one person to come along. Even in another occasion, Ashke the Yosef, they were sitting a comma and said, in another case, you found him saying that Afilu, um, <clears throat> Uh, what do you call it? Afilu get yaitze. This is Rabbi Ami was saying that in Ravasi found him. Afilu get yaitze metachis they ate chsima kosher. That even if the get um, the, um, comes out from no, one of the eight chsima was a shliach, and the, the one who said for was not a shliach. Good enough. The fact is, you have two people here, uh, even though they're not uh, they're, they're not both shliach, but good enough. Alma kasavri hold. You're telling me we don't care. The person who said before nechtam didn't mention a word about nechtam. You say we don't care. Why? Because there are two people here. So obviously you hold that if two people are bringing a get, there's no issue because Adam and the Kaima, they're over here. There's not a problem. So then now going back to the Mishnah coins, what you're saying now. El me after coins, what you're saying now, Rachel, the preceding case of the Mishnah where the Tani we learned, Shnaim Aimim Bifanenu Nechtam. The echad aim of a nechtum puzzle. There's puzzle because only a single person was a shlech. Rabbi the Machshat Taim would then get your name because he didn't have to shluchim it. How get your name? The both shluchim and one person said before a nechtum, not two. And one is if a nechtum, machshat rabban. Rabban will be machshat. You're saying because you're holding now that if two people bring the get, they don't have to say anything at all. Amalein, you're right. Says what are you talking about? Vazim loy amal lachil. Last time you told me just just the opposite. Amalei, yes, it he shall like tamma. This is a peg that you shouldn't budge from its place. This what I'm saying now is correct. I'm saying now is correct. We had a number of times in Gemara, especially in every other the rubber said, what I told you yesterday is incorrect. How did Amar he change his mind? Same thing over here. Okay, next mission. We're continuing now the laws of Gitin. Nichtev biyayim, v'nechtem balayla. You have a contract. Now, generally speaking, when you have a contract, most contracts are you're not allowed to write you're not allowed to write a contract say a loan contract unless the loiva and the malva are both there so therefore and and the chances are that you wrote it correctly and he, and and the transfer took place straight away but when it comes to a get we allow the husband to write a get even though the wife is not there and because of iguna we changed the rules around well, she was somewhere else we told him he could write the get so he writes the get and then maybe um and he gives it to her a while later but what about the get in the composition of the get? You have the yeah in the structure of the get. You have the writing of the get, and you have the witness assigning. Now, <clears throat> a get is different than all other contracts. As well, you, the get itself doesn't entitle to money. The get only proves that she was divorced. So the Mishnah says here: What happens if nichtav the you wrote the get by day, even nechtem and you signed it by day? Perfect. 
same day. Or Belayla Venechta Belayla, same night. Or Belayla Venechta Belayla, in Jewish law, the day follows the night. So you wrote on at night, you, you sign the day, Kasha. But if the Yoy Venechta Belayla, if you wrote it by day, you'd Zayin, and then you sign it at night, which really is Ches, then we got a problem. Puzzle, it is puzzle. Why is it puzzle? We'll soon see. But you've had the wrong, the, 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 the date just, is not synchronized, it doesn't match up. The date that it was signed and the date that it was written, we have an issue. Rav Shimon Machsha. Rav Shimon says it's kosher. And Rav Shimon says it's all right. Why? Rav Shimon said, You're right. All other contracts where you're taking money, extracting money, people are going to look at the wrong date. Because when, when it, yeah, and when is the, the, the get activated when the Adam signs, especially going to buy Adam, the Chasum of Zeichenloi, or Zachenloi, as soon as they sign? But, but the date that you're going to go back to, you'll say, oh, by day. And let's say if, you, if there was a property sold that day, they're going to seize that property when, in fact, you have no rights to it. Except when it comes to the Gitan of women, because it doesn't really have impact on, on, on properties directly, even though indirectly it does. Yeah, but, they, but, but, you, but you're impacting on others. It's not impacting others directly. So before we, we can understand what the Chacham passed, so let's first understand why is the date important at all. Why is the date important at all when it comes to um, a, a get? What do you need the date for? Remember, we have by get, you have the agent of sign. You have the sign, sign in the writing of the get, the signing of the get, and then you have the agent of the People will actually transfer it over. So why do we need a date in the get? If not, and remember, you had to bring in the Gemara that it, the, the evidence is a get without a date. And in Nisas, all right. Rabbanu, she shouldn't get married based on that get, but if she did, it's all right. So why is it important to have a date? Why did they legislate you have to have a date? Abi Yechon said, you know why? Because if, if you end up marrying your niece, and we're looking at your mom, it's actually a mitzvah to marry your niece. And if you end up marrying your niece, the family is far family. And even though you don't get on and it's, 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 it's disputed and that's from bias and you decide to divorce, but if she was a mezana, right? And, and, and there were witnesses and they warned her, she would get killed because she was a married woman. But if she can produce a get without a date and say that I received this get prior to this affair, and therefore I was a single woman at the time, and the husband might help her out. There's nothing to there's nothing to um, contradict what she's saying. That's why. So in other words, the, the reason for get is actually not helping her; it's hurting her. If she did the wrong thing, this is going to catch her. That's why you need a date on the get. And the Shlaki says we should pay this. A whole other thing. No, he says, you know why you need to get? Because the husband has the right to nixim maloy, the pluck in the state, right? That he can sell it. That's the state that she brings it to the marriage and takes it back for the marriage. But while they're married, he gets to keep all the produce, all the dividends. And in, in return, he, he, he puts all the effort in to make sure it works. And also he has to, you know, per coin, he has to redeem her. She gets kidnapped and so on. What, and in the meantime, he can sell it until they, until they divorce. He can sell the property. And when she gets divorced, and if she gets divorced, then she takes the property back. But if you have no date on the property, he had no right to sell any land of Nisra the moment they got divorced. But they have no date on the property, and he continues, sorry, of a guess, sorry, again. If he continues selling the Nisra Meloy, and then a month, two months later, she finds out that her little property is being sold, she tries to seize it back. She has no evidence that she was divorced back then. There's no man on it. And she'll lose out. So here we're doing the Kurdish luck, we're doing it to benefit her. That her husband shouldn't cheat to swindle her. He will tell you. Um, now, if you come to Basa Chaisa, he already says, Lukhaida. Let's say there's no date, but she's a married woman. We have a rule. If you don't know what happened, you look at the Chazaka. The Chazaka, she's a married woman right now. And then probably she was a married woman at the time when she was Mazana. So so, so what, even there's no date, L'chayda, she should be killed. So Tay says no. Two things. First of all, every person has a cheskas kashas, which means that we can interpret that she did not do anything wrong. Uh, but number two, there's a concept that I'm bringing down those words, but in Mark Suvas, in the second Perik, hashta the use of There's a weakness here. In this chazaka, the weakness is she has a holding a get. Question is only when did it take place, but she's holding a get, so therefore it destroys that chazaka. So the Gemara, the chazaka is, is is a status quo. Chazak kashas every year is born with chazak kashas. There's no reason to think otherwise. 
uh, or it's not like uh, La Havdo Luisa psychology that everybody has is, is evil and we got to improve ourselves. We say every person is good. Naturally, a person is good. And, and to prove otherwise, you're right. Maybe like innocent, proven guilty, same, yes, same principle. They shocked in my time. I'm going and why doesn't they shlokti like Rabbi And Amalek, you want to tell me because of Mechabas Achaisa? It's a new slay shkicha. What means new slay shkicha? We do have so many dinim enacted in case there was news. For example, we learned at the beginning of Tzuvis that you you're, you get married on Wednesday in case he finds out that Pesel Pesuah that she was Mazana and I'll live together. So he runs to court Thursday. But if he gets married on Tuesday, by the time Thursday comes along, he already fall in love with her and he uh, he won't go to court and they'll be living in sin. So we are worried about news. So Tasha says we are we're, we're worried about here. Susa Shkicha means to have two witnesses standing there and warning her, and she should still proceed to be Mazana. That is a very real. <clears throat> and, and, and in fact, interesting how Rabbi Yechonah, what 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 Mishavi Chafabas Achai said, the only way it can be a problem is if there were two witnesses and warned, and she'll defy them. How often would that happen? It, it, you would think it's like it never happens. But anyway, and Rabbi Yechonah, Rabbi Yechonah, my time in the Why doesn't he say like Shlaki? Because they'll be worried about the husband will swindle her. Because somebody holds yes, there's no swindling. You know why? Because he holds yes, Lebal paid his ad shasta. It doesn't matter when they start, when they get it written. What, when does the husband forfeit his uh, his rights to Nixon Malog only when he gives her the divorce? And therefore, until then, he had every right to sell the properties. And therefore, if she if she has no date and, and she comes forward, she has no right to claim. What she has to do is bring the aid to Messina or bring a uh, proof that this is the date that she received the get or received something, and that's it. So therefore, nobody gets swindled out. Now, if you follow this lucky, just logically we understand that Shimon disagrees. He says there's no date or the dates are wrong. So Star Mukdim, you wrote an early date, is not a problem. Why? Why is it not a problem? Because um, uh, because he says um, <laughs> what it called. <clears throat> um, he's not worried about. Um, but he, she will say that she's divorced. What's it? He's saying that she will say that she's divorced. He says. Um, we're not worried about Shemir Yechach or about Abbas Achaisa because um, <clears throat> Rav Shimon is machshir um, because he says um, that that uh, we should produce the they should produce the get and and uh, and and, uh, and 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 you look at the Aiden when they sign and that's good enough. Rabbi Yechach, my time, Rav Shimon is machshir. According to Rabbi Yechach, sorry. According to the according to the Shlokish, the problem is Paris. So according to the Shlokish, that um, the problem is Paris. Rab Shimon is not worried about it at all because according to Rab Shimon, um, it, it's only when the transfer comes along, and therefore it's not a problem. It's not a problem because she has the husband has every right to sell the properties. It's not a problem. That's what Rab Shimon holds. Rab Shimon holds that no, as we're seeing more soon. The Chachamim hold. According to the Shlokis, that the husband has no longer right to sell the properties once they, 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 they wrote the standard agent sign, but if there's no date on it, she's going to lose out because he'll continue selling the uh, he'll continue selling the properties and, and so on and so forth. But according to um, what do you call it? According to uh, the Drab Shimon, he has every single right to continue selling the property until he gets again. So what's up? What are you worried about? So what is no date on the stand? Like Abiyah said. The whole part is because of she So why is Rabbi Shimon say there's no data and I'm not worried? What do you mean not worried? That he might cheat the system and have Rahmanus and his wife. You're right. According to Rabbi Shimon, I never mentioned my opinion. Rabbi Shimon, you're right. The only way to understand Rabbi Shimon is if you follow the Shlokish's logic that the reason why he needs a date is because of the, if she's going to be swindled from a Nixim Malay. And Rabbi Shimon holds that, you know, the husband has every right to sell the Nixim Malay until they actually she receives a divorce. So what's wrong if there's no date? Who cares? Makes no difference. He's not swindling her. Kika Mina, what I'm saying is that the reason is you might protect the niece is only a little bit of Only is, is according to the Rabbanon who say that the star is possible. Why do they say the star is possible? Because we're worried that they're gonna, she's he's going to protect his niece. Says the Gemara Bishlei Rabbi Yechon. Okay, now according to Rabbi Yechon, I can understand. I know the Ika Ben Avshim and Rabban. I understand very well the argument of Yechon and Avshim and Rabban. Rabban hold the problem is Shem Yechafa Basel Chaysei, and therefore we need a gate, a, a date, and the star Mukdim is no good because you know, it could be that she 
<clears throat> you know, have a have a right afterwards on the same day. And Reb Shimon says, no, I'm not worried about Zuzah Shkicha. My concern is about Paris, but there's no concern there because the husband has every right to continue selling the properties until he gives her the divorce. And the Shlokish, but according to the Shlokish, we only have one reason and that is because of, of Paris. What's going on here? How can a button say that it's possible? Because we worry that the husband that, that he'll she'll be swindled out of these nichts in Malay and she has no date to prove that she was already, you know, the star was written. And Abshiman is not worried. What's going on here? What, what's he arguing about? Because he wants to argue about when does the husband forfeit his rights to this nichts in Malay? That what? That Shimon, that <clears throat> that according to the Chachamim, uh, when does the husband lose the right to, to the Khlik as soon as he wrote? This, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? when they aid him sign but if it's a star moved him she, or there's no if there's not if there's nothing here at all she and the star moves a big problem because she is going to go and, and and say that these properties i received the get wednesday by day when in fact the agent didn't sign till thursday so therefore she is going to take properties that her husband had every right to, to every right to sell because it's when the aid him sign that the husband loses the right to sell but the date on that star is a day earlier and she is going to claim back any of the nichts in the leg that was sold between the, the, the date that's on the get until the Adam signed when she had no right to. But according to Rav Shimon, the, the dates on the star are irrelevant. The only time that the husband loses his right to sell nichts in the is when she receives the get. So she comes and produces the get with us as, 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 as man. Who cares? We tell her, when did you receive the get? Bring us the Adam Assyria or bring some kind of evidence that you were. You, from the best or whatever it is that you received at the get on that day. And that's the argument. When does a husband lose the right to sell the nichts in the Yeah. Rabbi Yerichel is concerned if we're trying to check into his niece is married to his niece. He doesn't want to be Yeah. Why are we saying that that's not a mill so much I mean, how often does somebody marry their niece? Is that, is that a very common thing? Very common. If you look more about you, but it's a mystery. Yeah, Rabbi Yerichel has said you shouldn't. But then it's a tremendous quote, Sigma Yavamas. You should marry your niece. And in, and, and, and by Rabbeim, well, by many tzaddikim, you'll see they always marry their first cousins, their close relatives, always. It's only Rabbi Yudah Chazah came along and started putting in all of these uh, changes. And Rabbi Yudah says it's not for us. It's a long, uh, was it Shari Chuba, the Epischa uh, Chuba in, in, in Shukhmar Kufazain, in Yeridea. <clears throat> whether we shakatari, whether we follow all of the Chas's recommendations, or it's merely for his family and for no one else. Okay, so that's the argument between Hashem and Chachamim. Says the Gemara. Says Rabbi Yechoshamin. We learned. We learned elsewhere just exactly the opposite. The Itma we learned. Amos I might see the We learned somewhere else. When do we say? And the husband no longer has the right to pay this. Rabbi Yechon said, in fact, they wrote it. And the shlok is in the shas Here you tell me the shlok, you said that according to Chachamim, when does the husband lose the right from the moment they signed? And that's the problem here because they had an earlier date and then she'll claim it from that date and so on. And, you know, it's according to Chachamim. And yet the shlok is elsewhere said that the shas the sinner is only when the, she receives the get. And if it's when she receives the get, then there's no drama at all. Who cares about the date on the get? Exactly the opposite we have here. So we hey, swap the names around. Machlek is a shenim. Which ones are we swapping around? This particular Itmar here or the first one? Because many <laughs> pass in here like they shlakish. I don't understand. Make a big deal here about the date on the get. Yeah, we learned before. Gimel, Gitim, Sulin. You have three Gitim apostle, but the Sas, if she proceeds to get married, about Kosh. The only possible with the Rabbanon, so we're not going to pull her out of the marriage. So if so, ask a question, what did Chacham um, help with the Takana? Oh, we're writing a date for Basa Chaysa, we're writing a date for the Paytish. They just won't write a date at all. If, if, for this very reason, unless he wants to protect his niece, he'll give her a gift without a date. And, and, and then, and we're not going to kill her if we don't know, um, you know, maybe Takash is a free woman. So he can anyway protect us. What a common benefit with this Takana. So the mother, or the husband wants to cheat his wife, he won't put a date on it and continue selling the like. So the mother, you know what Rabbi Yisrael said? Now that we put this into place, or any professional cipher and any agent will not sign the get if there's no uh, man, because the husband tells him, write me a get without a date. If safe, so sorry, I don't want to hurt my, my, my reputation or whatever it is. I don't want to be a party to your, to your stick over here. 
So the next case, what about the next case? What about the Rabbi Yisrael Yisrael? Gazil is man the day. Whatever it was the date, but afterwards she cut it out. The Yavanella. And then the husband gave the, the get to the wife. My, what would it then be there? What would it then be there in that case? <clears throat> and the reason why he cut out or erased the date is to protect his niece or to, you know, to be able to swindle uh, uh, his wife and, and sell his niece to like. <clears throat> and you said, but he ever, there's no date on it. The blood is kosher. What would be in this case where you can see there was a date and it was removed? What happens then? Uh, so the Gemara, we're not going to sit there and discuss, uh, uh, not a Rame, but a Rame. But some, where you make a swindle, and it's so obvious, everybody knows that you're, there's something, you're very deceptive here. You know, it'd be crazy. But the thing that we, and, exactly, why'd you do that? Obviously, you did it for a reason. <clears throat> so the, what about Rabbi Dinah Sabiyah? It's a by his written Shavuot. It says which Shemitah it, it, this get took place. We didn't say which year in the Shemitah and so on. Or Shani, he wrote which year, but Chaydash, you forgot to write anything more details than that. Or Shabbos, or you wrote the week. We didn't say which day of the week. My. Is that is is a chatzchili? Can you use such a get or not? Amalek kosher. That get is kosher. The chatzchili you can use it. I what did my come to country? Say what did you what did you gain? You can still cheat. You know you write the shmita. <laughs> she committed adultery, adultery during the entire shmita. She's protected because we don't know when she was divorced. So what did you achieve? What do you mean by the evidence kosher? She says you know hanu l'shvu the kame l'shvu the basay. The fact that the date helps somewhat. That if she was a mazan in the previous shmita. Or let's say he wrote the year, it was not in the previous year, or for the next year, you know, or by Paris, for the, if, I, if, if you wrote the next year, um, if, if it happened the next, the sale happened the next year, and definitely the husband had no right to sell it. And even though he didn't write a date, but if you let's say Top Shepe Gimel, you sell Top Shepe Dollar, you had no right to, then it, it, in that case, it was effective. It's a good get. But he didn't have to prove it to you. Even you aim a goof, you write a day, since we don't write what time of the day, even though we learned to we we'll learn later on that you're shalayim based to write the time. Me, Yada Ima Tzafri Mepanya, do we know it was in the morning and afternoon? What happened? You wrote in the afternoon and she committed adultery in the morning. She's she so what did you achieve with your writing at the day? It helped at least if she was committed the day before, she's caught. Or if the husband sold property the day after, he had no right to. So therefore, it's effective. Here also is effective, at least as even the Shemitah, it cuts out the previous Shemitah or the Shemitah following. What happens? What happens? He wrote a get. Let's say the husband wrote a get. He said, you know what? I'm going to be ready. In case I ever get a fight with my wife, I got the divorce here ready, ready to go. And he wrote a get and he put it in his cash, in his pocket for safekeeping, to, to use it when he needs to. Um, sorry. We'll see, we'll, we'll see the man. We'll see the man. The Ima Faisa to Faisa. And the reason why he's not using it straight away is even though they got into fight, he's hoping that things will calm down and, and they can get, you know, resume their, their happy marriage. But uh, so therefore he put it in his pocket. My, what would it then be with them? On Malay, he said to him, in other words, in this case, obviously she's not divorced until he physically gives a get in her hand. It's not common that people will already bring write a get if they have intentions to try to make the marriage work. You know, you don't, you know, you're hedging your bets. This is like too, a bit too extreme. <clears throat> because the very fact that you're hoping the marriage continues to working, then for you, the get is peronious. So why would you bring peronious already into your life? Okay, we'll stop over here and we'll continue tomorrow.